hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we'll see in uh, events handling example uh, we'll do one more example uh, that is something called uh, the product item it means uh, generally you have a cart items where you just uh, increment on the quantity and decrement on the quantity right so as of now we just taken a, a very simple variable and we just incremented it was a number and it was a string we changed right now it's time to take an a full fledged object and how you update uh, the properties of an object uh, using the event so let's see that okay so first of all uh, i create a component so i right click new components okay so in this i will create open with terminal so let's say nggc uh, product hyphen item okay so product item is my component name and once it is created i'll just open i just connect it to app component so that i have started a server already so you check product item works so what my plan here is not just uh, a variable uh, i want that variable to be a uh, uh, an object okay so generally how you create object is some interfaces for example i say interface interface capital product capital product okay so this defines my object type so in this i have a serial number of type string and uh, name of the product string and uh, image of the product is string and some quantity as number and price as number okay so i need to create an object which contains these properties okay so how to initialize that simple the say public uh, product of type capital product is equal to an object so in this you must specify the serial number and all so let's say serial number some uh, aa101 and the name something called mi watch okay and then uh, image so i'll just get some image from google and the quantity is uh, two items and the price for example some 1500 rupees okay so now i have a product with this data and i need to have image so i just go google and search for some smart smart watch so you get some images so i just search for one watch uh, this one so i'll just copy the image address so i'll just keep you may download or keep it like this this address uh, image url and you just keep here okay so now i have a product so this particular product what is my plan is i want to display a nice table format i have to frame a table and then display the content with uh, the increment and decrement buttons for the quantity so what i do is i go to html let's make uh, a proper setup uh, it looks like a product item cart okay so i say the regular section uh, with a class called margin top 3 one container a spelling wrong and one row and then a single column p dot h3 and let's say something called product items okay uh, you want you can just change that text to uh, danger reddish color okay and then p lorem um ready tab okay product items fine below this i need to have a nice table so you can use the bootstrap table so i'll just take another section another section let's give the class margin top 3 one container one row single column let's say a table table and let's give the class call uh, table and uh, table table hover and text center and table striped 
okay so t head table row th star 6 tab we get some 6th serial number and then uh, I need an image and then the name and uh, 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 quantity uh, you, you write like this price and the quantity and total okay now check how it is uh, I just need to have uh, uh, a background so let's say uh, BG secondary and text uh, white okay looks good and below this I need to have a table data so that is there in my product dot serial number product dot name like that so what I do is the T body table row uh, we just have only one item so we can just write uh, as it is td first one is serial number so i use uh, interpolation or angular expression product dot serial number so let's check you got the serial number next image if i say uh, product dot image so you get the image whole address but i want the real image so simply you do as a property binding for image so we have seen the right src property binding product dot image and just say alt empty so now check we got the image but the image was quite bigger uh, you may write like this width width 50 and the height 50 so you get a small image okay next another td let's say product dot um was that price oh sorry name product dot name and then product dot price and then product dot quantity okay like this so name price quantity what about total total means price into quantity so can we write an expression like this product dot price into product dot qty so the quantity into price is total see 3000 uh, fine so now you made a proper structure now my next step is for quantity I need to have two buttons two icons so one is plus symbol one is minus symbol so when I click on the plus symbol just increment the uh, a quantity and minus symbol to decrement the quantity so we have configured already the um, a font of some icons so for quantity let's take in the next line yeah here I'll take an i tag with the class fa uh, plus square see you get the plus symbol and this side I copy this paste it let's say fa minus minus uh, uh, circle or square okay looks good now when I click on the plus symbol just increment the quantity of an object minus symbol to decrement the quantity of an object so what you do is you have to create two functions two methods so public increment quantity uh, return type is just wider yeah so what you do just quantity you increment but this is the whole object right so how you do this dot product is equal to uh, I'll just take an object in that I'll substitute all the properties as it is for that I use the a spread operator of uh, the ES6 JavaScript uh, this dot product so all the properties which are there so without disturbing the structure of the object you have to change so these existing values as it is comma the only quantity I update with the this dot product dot quantity plus one so the existing product quantity plus one for the quantity property of an object that's it okay so let's call this function when I click on the button so what do you do 
on the i icon this icon when i click on okay so for this click event let's say increment quantity okay so this will update your product and based on that it updates here so you want to see refresh and check see it is incrementing got it yeah it is incrementing fine and decrementer same story so i need to have another function so let's say decrement quantity this take minus one okay and let's call it on uh, minus so click is equal to decrement quantity that's all so now check back here i refresh see plus is working minus is working okay but minus is working but the problem is c1 0 minus i should not go less than 1 so minimum one product should be there so it should not go less than 1 okay it's not looks good right so for that you can just add a condition for example greater than 0 then uh, this dot product dot quantity minus 1 otherwise just 1 is a minimum value the last time we given 0 as a minimum value so here 1 as a minimum value so if you give this condition so automatically what happens so even you click on the minus multiple times does not go less than 1 okay so this is some real example for your cart incrementation okay simple very very simple okay so fine so uh, so please practice on this uh, we'll see another example something next level of this what is my plan is uh, it is just one object correct yeah and that to just one row but i need um, multiple rows generally cart is a sensor you have multiple rows so for that when i click on increment only that particular item to be incremented even though multiple items are there okay so try that we'll see that example in the next video okay so thank you so much let's meet in the next video